Hi, I'm Sandata, Y. Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction C++ Programming Series. Our topic for today is about how to create a file in C++ Programming Language using Visual Studio. So the first thing you're going to do is to click the Start. Then you can point to All Programs. And then you can scroll and point to Microsoft Visual Studio 2012 folder. And then you can click on Visual Studio. Afterwards, the starting pop-up of the Visual Studio will appear. And then suddenly we have here the environment of the Visual Studio. Now we can go now to C++ programming language by clicking new project or by clicking file new then you can click on the project. Afterwards a new project menu will display as the bunch of programming languages that uh, we're going to use like Visual C Sharp, the Visual Basic, the Visual C++, and the Visual F Sharp. Now you can point to Visual C++ and then you can click on the Win32 console application. Make it sure that on the that network framework is considered to be the latest. And right now, on my drop down button, so 4.5 is the latest. And then we can go down, which is considered to be the name, location, and solution name. Under the name, there's a what do you call console application one. And the location is on my desktop which we're going to create so you can click on the browse we can go to desktop and then we can create a new folder here and then we're going to type bsid11 and then you can click the button select folder then you will notice that our location is considered to be on the folder right on the desktop. Under the name, this is what you call the folder name. So we're going to replace this as lecture one. And on the solution name, which is the name of our program in Visual Studio. So let's rename this with lecture one also then we can go to OK button let's click this one then there is a what do you call Win32 application wizard lecture 1 window that identifies the wizard as console application you can click finish or you can click next but I prefer you can click next then another which is the application setting right now there's a what you call check right here on the pre file header we don't need this the Visual Studio cannot control our program but we can control the C++ in our own by clicking empty project and afterwards you can click finish below Okay, so here is the environment of Visual C++. Okay, below there is a what you call the error list, which identify all of your errors in coding. On the right part, the Solution Explorer panel and the Properties panel, which is considered identified as Lecture 1. Our solution is the same as our folder. And under the folder, we have the source file 
folder inside of it what you need to do is to click on the source file right click on it and you can point to add then click new item afterwards there's a what do you call visual c++ and right on the middle okay there is a what you call c++ file dot cpp so below there's a name source dot cpp and uh, what we need to do right here is to replace this source name into lecture one by typing sendata underscore comprog two underscore lecture one that cpp and then you can click add and you will notice the c++ file has been created we can check on this by minimizing the visual studio and uh, going through inside of our folder which we created on the desktop double click on it you can go to lecture one and there is what they call the solution folder the solution folder is uh, the one file that you can click to open also your created program otherwise you cannot open your program okay so we can go to the folder lecture one and you will notice and that underscore comprog2 underscore lecture one dot cpp was being created already okay that's all for today on how to create a file or a c++ file in visual studio thank you and good luck